Malvin Foy has a lot to do today, so as usual, he gets an early start. I cook, I clean. But Malvin is faced with daily challenges as soon as he steps out of his driveway. You know, traveling on the sidewalks, there's a lot of time to have a lot of cars. You see, Malvin is visually impaired, a result of diabetes. The young St. Tomian says getting there is half the battle. Now we have to now step into traffic, and that's very dangerous. You know, we really can't see the vehicle until we walk up and hit it. Our sidewalks are very uneven, so sometimes you don't, you can't find them. Sometimes the sidewalks are so narrow, and in the cracks of the sidewalks, there's sometimes grass. Malvin adds the other part of the battle is employment. I had one interview here, and... Um, the agency did not come straight out and discriminate, but the question they was asking, I felt they was discriminated. He spent some time at the privately funded Center for Independent Living, learning skills that will prepare him for the next step. We, we hear so much about the stumbling blocks. We've approached so many persons. We've been through so many changes in terms of what's accessible and what's, what's not accessible. Malvin says his hope is that people become more aware and pay attention to the ability and not the disability. I think each one of us need to take the time to be a little bit more sensitive, whether it's a blind person, whether it's a deaf person, crippled, wheelchair, whatever the case may be, you know, take the time and have that patience because you never know in life what may happen. It might be your brother, your mother, your sister. You would not want anyone to mistreat them as well.